The latest BrickLink Designer Program release is right around the corner. You're able to order them starting February the 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern. For those that aren't familiar with this program, I'll give a little backstory. The BrickLink Designer Program is a joint collaboration between BrickLink and LEGO. It started in 2021 to give LEGO fans an opportunity to create sets that would be turned into actual LEGO sets. This is similar to the LEGO Ideas program, but it's a much smaller and limited scale. So far, there have been three rounds. Each round, five designs were selected to be made into actual LEGO sets. All three rounds, only 10,000 copies of each set were made. The first round was limited to five per account, but the second and third rounds was reduced to one per account. This year, some things are changing. LEGO's ramping up production to 30,000 copies of each set, with a limit of two copies of each set per account. There's been a lot of chatter going around in the LEGO investing community on whether this increase in supply is going to negatively impact their investment potential. In this video, I'm going to take a look back at the past three rounds of the BrickLink Designer Program and see how they've been performing. This isn't going to be some really high level video. I'm going to go deep into how much you would have had to pay for these sets after taxes, how much you can sell them for on eBay after fees and after shipping so we can have the true profit percentage of what you're making on these sets. It took a bit of work to get all these numbers together for this video, so if you appreciate the information I'm sharing, I would appreciate it if you drop a like on this video. We'll start off with the first round that was crowdfunded in summer of 2021. I'll be sharing these in lowest percentage profit to highest percentage profit. So we'll start out with number five, and that was the Great Fishing Boat set number 910010 has an MSRP of $129.99. Right now on eBay, we can see sold listings for around $280 to $300. So we'll take an average of $290 as our number as a going rate on eBay. So if you were to sell this set for that price on eBay right now, let's see how much you would come away with. To determine that, we would need to take $290 and multiply it by 0.84. This takes away any eBay fees that eBay charges for this order. And then after that, you'll need to subtract the shipping cost. I'm going to estimate $16 here. On all of these sets, I'm estimating shipping. It may be a little bit lower, maybe a little bit higher. You might want to include some insurance on the package or a signature to confirm receipt. So it'll vary a little bit based on how you ship the set. After those calculations, we come away with $227.60. But we can't forget that you're also paying sales tax on all your purchases as well, depending on the state you're in. I'm going to take an average of 8% on all of these sets. A few people are lucky and don't have to pay sales tax, so good on you, but most people do, and we're going to say that's an average of 8%. So if the set was MSRP $129.99, you would be paying $140.39. So if you take the $227.60, divide it by the $140.39, you come away with 62.1% profit. The next set I had to look up before I started filming to make sure I was saying it correctly. I think it was Kakupo. Let me know if it's wrong in the comments. Probably is. That's set number 910017. Had an MSRP of $79.99. On eBay right now, it's going anywhere from 175 to 190 So we'll take an average of 183 to take away eBay fees. We'll multiply that by 0.84 and subtract $12 of shipping to come away with $141.72 that you would come away with after selling the set on eBay. When you purchase the set for $79.99, you would have to pay taxes and now it'd be around $86.39, giving you 64% profit after it's all said and done. Pursuit of Flight, set number 910028. That set had an MSRP of $54.99. On eBay, it's going for around 110 to 122. And on average, we'll say it's $116. You multiply that by 0.84, subtract $9 for shipping, and you have $90.12. If you purchase this set, you would have to pay taxes. After taxes, you'd be paying $59.39, making your profit 51.7%. Share of safe set number 910016, MSRP of $49.99. On eBay, it's going for around $135 to $140 in recent sold listings. On average, we could say that's 138. Multiply that by 0.84, subtract $9 for shipping, and you have $106.92 if you sold this set right now after fees and shipping. Including tax, it would be around $53.99 for your true cost for the set. You divide your sale price and your buy price together, and you get a 98% profit on your original cost. The last set for this first round was the Castle in the Forest, set number 910001. 
MSRP of $179.99. On eBay, it's going for around $475 to $520. An average of $498, we'll say. After fees and $20 of shipping, we'll say you can come away with $398. After taxes, your true cost was $191.34 and your true profit percentage after fees and shipping would be 104.7% profit. The likely reason for this set being the best performer out of all of them besides the design is because there was a glitch when this set dropped. Originally there was only supposed to be 5,000 of each of these sets made in this first round but there was a glitch and BrickLink accidentally let people order 10,000 of just this one set. This caused a ton of upset fans and people worried their order would be canceled. So Lego ended up deciding to make 10,000 of each of these sets so that it would be even across the board. Every set got 10,000 made. So that meant that every other set besides the castle was reopened to be purchased a few months later, 5,000 more sets of each, except for this castle because Lego already accepted 10,000 orders. Additionally, when they reopened the 5,000 more copies to new people, it was limit one per account as opposed to the five per account when it was originally. So while this is an amazing looking set, I think this played a large part for why this is performing so much better than other sets. Looking back at the first series, we had over two years since these sets came out. Two out of five, you're able to double your money after shipping and fees, but the other three sitting around 50-60%, not the best on those three. But you don't really have to work a lot for these sets. You just show up when it's time to order, order them. You don't have to do really any research on getting the lowest price or stacking discounts. Everyone's paying the same price. Moving on to round two, it was crowdfunded in winter of 2021. So the first set we're going to talk about here is Mountain Windmill set number 410003, MSRP of $179.99. On average, it's going for $245 to $300 in sold listings on eBay. We'll take the average of $273. Multiply that by 0.84. Subtract $20 for shipping and we get $209.32 of money in your pocket after selling the set. When you include taxes on the original price, it would be around $194.39 of your cost. So you divide those two numbers and you only get 7.7% profit on your original purchase. Venetian Houses, set number 910023, MSRP of $289.99. On eBay, it's going for around $430 to $540, pretty big range there, but we'll average that to $485. After fees and $25 of shipping, we get $382.40. Divide that by $313.19, which is your original cost after taxes, and you get 22.1% profit. Not the best. Retro Bowling Alley set number 910013, MSRP of $229.99. On eBay, going for around $425 to $510. We'll average that as $468. After shipping and fees, it's $373.12. Divide that by $248.39, which is your cost after taxes, you get 50.2% profit. Clockwork Aquarium, set number 910015, MSRP of $64.99. It's going on eBay for around $130 to $200. Average that at $168. After fees and $12 shipping, you're at $129.12. Divide that by $70.19, which is your cost after taxes, you're at 84% profit. And the final set of round two was the modular Lego store, set number 910009, MSRP of $179.99. On eBay, it's going for a whopping $540 to $620. We'll average that at $580. After fees, $20 of shipping, that's $467.20. Divide that by $194.39 and you get 140.3% profit. So to summarize it, we had two pretty bummer sets at the beginning, two mid-range sets, and then one big winner with this modular Lego store. And the third and latest round in the BrickLink Designer Program was crowdfunded in September of 2022. First set we'll start off with is Studgate Train Station, set number 910002, MSRP of $399.99. On eBay, it's only going for around $650 to $725. Average of $688, we'll say, after fees and pretty hefty shipping of around $40 for how large the set is, you'll come away with $537.92. If you divide that by $431.99, which is your cost after taxes, 
you only come away with about 24.5% profit. Mountain View Observatory, set number 910027, MSRP of $249.99. On eBay, it's going for around $430 to $460. We'll take an average of $445 after fees and $25 of shipping. That comes to $348.80 that you would take home after selling the set. Divide that by $269.99, which is your cost after taxes, and you'll have 29.2% profit. Winter Chalet, set number 910004, MSRP of $199.99. On eBay, it's going for around $375 to $457. We'll average that to $416. After fees and $20 of shipping, we hit $330.15. After taxes on your purchase, it's around $215.99. You divide those two numbers and you get 52.9% profit. 1950s Diner, set number 910011. MSRP of $129.99. Went for around 230 to 320 on eBay. Another pretty big range there, but we'll average it to 275. And after fees and $16 of shipping, we hit $215 of money in door pockets. Divide that by $140.39. We have 53.1% profit. And the last set from round three is the modular construction site, set number 910008. MSRP of $319.99. It's going for around $640 to $740 on eBay. We'll take an average of $690. After fees and a pretty hefty price of $35 in shipping, we come with $544.60. Divide that by $345.59. We get 57.6% profit. This third series is definitely the worst of the three series that have come out, but it also has the shortest shelf life. After a year from now, will we see these sets jump another 50% profit? I don't think so, but time will tell. Before I get into my thoughts on this research, let me go ahead and quickly cover the sets that are being released next month. The first one is the old train engine shed, MSRP $229.99. We have the mountain fortress, MSRP of $379.99. These two are probably my favorite of the five sets that are being released. They just look so good. There's also the Parisian Street, $319.99 MSRP on that one. The General Store, $559.99. And only one set under $100, which is the Snack Shack at $49.99. So we see the average price of these new sets coming out are significantly higher than the last couple series. Okay, diving into my thoughts on the research I just covered here. My belief is that these Bricklink Designer Program sets are not the best for classic lego investing where you buy sets sell them a few years after retirement i just don't think that's the best strategy for these sets if you're into the quick flipping game i believe that there is some money to be made personally i'm not a quick flipper so i won't be buying any of these sets for a quick flip or for investing i think there are some cons with this upcoming wave for people who want to invest uh, one there's there's added risk with the additional twenty thousand sets being made for the series. There are going to be more people that will be able to buy these directly from Bricklink and not have to go to aftermarkets like eBay to pick this set up. There is a counter argument here that there are more fans of the Bricklink designer program than there were in the past. And so there will be more demand for these sets and that may offset the extra supply that's being created. That's just something we won't know until February 7th when we see how fast these sets sell out. Another thing is the average size and price of these sets have continued to increase each round, especially in this upcoming round. I was expecting to find a correlation with lower price sets bringing in more percentage profit than larger sets, but that really wasn't the case. There was no significant trend that said all small, smaller sets are better or all larger sets are worse. There is a pretty good mix on all of the series. Those are all the insights I had to share for this video. I'd love to hear what you think about these upcoming designer program sets in the comments below. As I said earlier, I'm personally not buying any of these sets for investing, but I would like to hear if you are. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like below. It helps out my channel a ton. If you want to see more LEGO investing content like this, I put out videos every Monday and Thursday, so definitely subscribe. And if you have any questions about LEGO investing, definitely drop in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, my videos are not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm only sharing my journey as a LEGO investor, and I encourage you to do your own research before buying any LEGO sets.